Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to the Open Source at Siemens event 2021. My name is Roger Meyer. I'm living in Switzerland. Um, started at uh, Siemens Building Technologies. Now I'm working within Siemens IT. Great to have you here. So we nowadays already have our eight uh, open source at Siemens event. In the past, we did it here in uh, Zook in uh, as building technologies event. And nowadays, we are happy uh, to do that the first time fully public uh, during the afternoons. Uh, so looking forward uh, for a great afternoon uh, today and tomorrow with you. Back in 2015, uh, we had an uh, internal uh, digitalization event, and there was a great statement um, there from uh, Sigurd Osforum. There is no backup team. You, you must make it happen. And this was one of the starting points uh, in 2015, where we thought, hey, uh, we do not have a corporate uh, social coding platform and we did it so uh, give you a little overview on uh, uh, how we did it so of course as there was no backup team uh, we decided uh, to build code.teams.com out of uh, the department kit lab um, uh, we had a ccp department here in uh, zug in switzerland with the goal that people are able to collaborate and uh, share code uh, within minutes. Nowadays, we have established a vibrant community across the company. People help each other uh, on our Yammer channels, for example, uh, and on the coding platform. So we are fully transparent collaboration for all the Siemens engineers on the platform, managed by a small little team of developers, so our slogan, of course, for developers from developers. So really being able to help each other at an eye level and, and uh, collaborate um, uh, with all the folks uh, across the company. Yeah, some numbers, as you see, we are executing nowadays about 200,000 uh, builds per day. In the past, we maybe had that uh, the very early beginning uh, within a year. Uh, it's heavily growing uh, day by day. Um, CICD is widely adopted across the company. So we're uh, with about 11 million, 11 million API requests. A lot of people do automation uh, using the platform uh, and, and so on. Beside of managing operating the platforms uh, uh, of course we're extending a lot and we're contributing uh, to gitlab uh, in many different areas so uh, nearly all code team members uh, core team members have contributed to gitlab we have uh, eight uh, most valuable persons nominations by gitlab over 150 upstream mrs uh, merged so, and we are still in, pro in process uh, to do so, of course. As we defined uh, at the early days also, uh, uh, that you were gonna go with uh, open standards and open source software. So we nowadays have um, about four deployments per month. We do deploy upstream only. So there's no patched, modified uh, version of, uh, uh, GitLab installed on code.siemens.com, all upstream. If we see uh, a flicker or an issue, we contribute those bugs uh, and, and, and uh, bug fixes upstream uh, to the open source project. Of course, beside of this, we are maintaining several uh, open source projects um, uh, related uh, to uh, those activities. And uh, we develop code.siemens.com in an open source way. So each employee at the company is able to see our issue tracker to contribute to discuss uh, with the team uh, within the issue tracker uh, on our Yammer group. Uh, our milestones are visible uh, for all the people. So we have a 
great collaboration there. Uh, thank you here, dear Siemens developers, for the great collaboration uh, together with you uh, on the platform. We do it a little bit different than typical IT services. So as we have no internal help desk, so there is just um, the issue tracker that we're using to managing the platform and um, the internal social network Yammer we use uh, nowadays uh, to interact with the community and it works smooth. And yes, there was no open source event in the past. And so in 2013, uh, uh, within uh, the software uh, division clearing team at uh, Building Technologies, I said, hey, we need open source software is so important for us. Uh, we need an event. And uh, so we started uh, with the open source at uh, BT. Nowadays, um, building technologies became a Siemens, uh, was a Siemens division. Nowadays, uh, it's uh, part of smart infrastructure. I moved with code.siemens.com uh, to Siemens IT. And uh, so we changed also uh, last year the uh, name of the event uh, to uh, Siemens open source at Siemens. Yeah, a lot of things happened uh, since uh, those days. Uh, I remember at the, at the very first event in 2014, we were talking about SPDX license identifiers, as you might know, uh, a typical challenge we have uh, when using open source software within large companies. Um, there we struggled a lot uh, with all those license clearing topics and um, then we started to introduce that uh, those license identifiers uh, within U-Boot uh, together with Wolfgang Denk and with uh, Günther Oblichnik at the POCO C++ libraries and the cool thing, a few years later, uh, the SPDX license headers have been introduced to the Linux kernel as a whole. So uh, you'll see a lot of short license identifiers within the Linux kernels. And, and uh, this was one of the things started uh, here as well in our area. And of course, during those early days, we were dreaming about having a, a corporate wide coding platform. And now we have it in place. We also had a lot of presentations, of course, just a few to mention also from companies uh, with similar needs, a lot of people from the open source uh, area. We've, we've, we've worked together, we collaborated with, uh, with each other. Uh, people met us uh, here in Zug at the um, physical location in the pre-COVID times. And uh, yeah, of course, we're looking forward to do it once again in the public, uh, in, in uh, physically, but um, yeah, also possible to do it virtual. Uh, the activities at Siemens um, are growing in the open source world. And uh, yeah, just want to mention, uh, for, for example, our next 47 um, venture capital uh, part of Siemens invested, for example, into Cystic. Uh, an open source company and uh, yeah I'd like to hand over to my colleague uh, Oliver Fent to uh, give a few more insights on uh, open source projects uh, and activities. So thank you uh, Roshi, um, thank you for the um for the presentation so far. So a very short introduction from my side. My name is Oliver Fendt. I'm working for Siemens for quite a while. And I'm in charge of the topic open source and the party software at Siemens. And as um, you have probably recognized already, uh, which is written on, on the slide, that of course we are active, as we are an active member of the open source ecosystem. We have um, um, GitHub slash Siemens, which was initiated by Roshi again. So thank you for that. And you can surf to this place and see a lot of um, projects we are running. Of course, some are not that active, but there are um, really active projects like Jailhouse and, and Ross Sharp and many, many others. 
We are also maintainer of um, Software 360, which is an ex Eclipse um, project. So we are also a member of the Eclipse Foundation. We are co-maintainer of Fosology, which is a Linux Foundation um, project, and we are also a member of the Linux Foundation. We are working together with the Free Software Foundation Europe in several areas. And um, we are one of the, um, let's say, founding members of the civil infrastructure platforms project, which is also a Linux Foundation project um, with the overall objective to maintain a super long life Linux kernel and base libraries. And we um, were member of the Open Chain project, again, a <laughs> Linux Foundation project. Um, with the Open Chain project has as an overall objective to um, to ease the license compliance work in over the entire supply chain. Mm -hmm. I think it was started in 2014, something like that. And last year in December, um, we were able to achieve um, that the current um, open chain specification 2.1 is now an official ISO standard. So I think in, an, in the next few years, um, so from a license compliance point of view, it might be more or much more easier um, to ensure license compliance over the entire supply chain, having this standard and um, the certification um, to be this standard conformant. And that's it from my side, and I'm happy to um, hand over to Roshi again. And you, I wish you a you. very, very, very nice event. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Oliver. Yeah, so this year, uh, the first time we're doing the afternoons uh, public. So uh, we will see um, maybe if we do uh, next year the full day or uh, stay with this concept. Uh, this is not uh, figured out till now. Um, the 2038 uh, journey, an interesting topic, started uh, during my former time at uh, Siemens Building Technologies, uh, where a lot of people thought, hey, Roger, what are you looking at the 2038 problem right now? It's 2014 or 15 or so. And um, as you might have seen also with the civil infrastructure project Oliver mentioned and where we have an intro tomorrow by Jan Kiska. Um, our in products are running uh, within infrastructure and are uh, running for a long, long time. So uh, a life cycle of uh, 20 years is uh, quite normal in some areas. And uh, so, We'll see tomorrow some uh, insights in that regard, for example, as well. And then, of course, invited several also smaller companies. Um, uh, we are in closer contact. And also today, I uh, will have uh, Matthias Stürmer um, uh, here. He's leading um, um, uh, the Institute for um, uh, uh, Digital uh, sustainability at the University in Bern, and uh, also well-known uh, person in the uh, open source world, especially in uh, Switzerland. You can see on the left-hand side. In the past, we had a really cool location uh, in, in, in a somehow very relaxed environment with a little physical bar uh, where we had some croissants at the morning, some beers at the evening, a lot of time to chat also between the talks. Um, um, at, at the evening, Fabio and me were uh, preparing burgers and, and and stuff for the whole crew. So uh, then we thought, hey. Uh, we need something similar uh, also now and, and get a little bit of similar feeling. So that's why we've uh, prepared uh, the virtual bar uh, based on a work adventure from uh, the coding machine. Uh, Max mentioned that uh, as it was used uh, for the Chaos Computer uh, Congress um, as well. So we thought, hey, let's give it, give it a try. Um, it's already online. You can uh, join the bar anytime you want at play.bar.siemens.chat. 
take care it's not a mobile first um, uh, bar it's you need a real keyboard so type your name type your name use the arrow keys to navigate and uh, of course you should allow camera and uh, microphone when connecting to the bar it's a public bar so everybody's able to join uh, using uh, peer to peer technology web rtc uh, and the like um, uh, exactly yeah yeah see you there later or during the breaks and oh once again uh, you might see we have a different map now on our bar it's uh, a custom map we've made based on uh, the famous uh, galvanic location we used in the past so uh, people that have joined the physical event might remember uh, the location uh, there as well As we had some little flickers and issues um, for presenters using Linux platform, uh, we had to rearrange a little bit. And so we've started to establish uh, the conferencing platform based on uh, open source projects um, you see above. So maybe one, first of all, the uh, OBS Ninja uh, used to uh, get all the different streams from the different presenters together uh, then we're using uh, obs uh, studio to to mix um, uh, from uh, the different channels and streaming that then uh, to our own instance of uh, owncast uh, running at uh, live.scenes.io and there's also a little chat on uh, live.scenes.io so you can uh, there uh, write uh, questions. If you, you can rename yourself within um, uh, Live Scenes, I just click on your uh, on the name user thirteen or whatever, and uh, then you can type your name uh, to make it a little bit more personal. And they will try our best to also answer the questions there, or also uh, moderate it um, um, at the end uh, of the presentations. And on the right hand side, yes, work adventure uh, from uh, the coding machine, a very nice uh, six bit video game uh, emulation uh, to chat with each other uh, in a relaxed way. And yeah, we are happy to be able to have people um, running Linux uh, being able to present uh, without barriers. So that's uh, how inclusion uh, also uh, shall work and uh, diversity. So uh, happy to have uh, the Linux presenters here uh, on board and on stage. Yeah, that's uh, all from uh, my side. So you've seen uh, there is open source that seems at IO. Uh, the open source portal um, uh, we've especially set up here also for the event and uh, of course uh, planning to uh, extend over uh, the next few months uh, as well and yeah so therefore i would say thanks a lot i'm looking forward for uh, the presentations and um, uh, the questions answers and so on and uh, or see you and talk to you at our virtual bar. Thanks a lot.